macho time. I'm gonna call this shit for the Warriors all day, baby. <laughs> This is Jay with my Mindset TV, and we want to let you know we over here at the East Harlem Stickball Championship, and this is the continuation from last week. Three good comeback starts with defense. Let's go, let's go, y'all. One, two, three, go, go, go. Make these calls right today, though. Right today is the first time. I make the rules, and now especially when you when you bet up, I'm gonna mess with you. How about that? When, when I was a part of Team Macho, also now you just shit it on yourself. Sugar Hill is losing a lot to Leto. Got some of the celebration going on right now. Um, I don't know how many outs there is because we just went live just now. This is Yang with My Mindset TV. We over here with the phones. I remember him from last week, the last video we did. You guys came into this game, um, had some momentum. You had a big inning. Um, what do you feel went wrong? I don't know, man. We came with our A game, but unfortunately, we didn't make the plays we needed to make to get this victory. Uh, we're still playing, so I'm not going to say we lost, but, you know, hey, the, it's for the, the better team's going to win today. That's what counts, man. But we do know that one of the things that is consistent is the hairstyle. Oh. We're going to bring it back to you next year. Get the celebration. Yeah, we're NY Mindset TV. We with the champions, the Warriors. Yeah. You know, this is what it's about. East Harlem Stickball Champions this year. Yo, Joey, we got a question. There was one inning where you hit like two home runs in the inning, man. How did that feel? Like what channel is this? Because I don't have I don't have cable. It's not about me. It's about how we all feel because we play together. That's right. We play together as a team. You hit a home run after they had scored six runs in the inning. Yeah. You know, um, you guys kind of rallied back, kind of, they pulled within three. Um, you came up the bat with a home run. Talk to us about it. It was easy. 
It's what I do. It's what the Warriors do. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I'm, uh, I'm the best looking guy in the team. Uh -oh. And the oldest. No, I'm sorry, Lou. But I want to give a shout out to Sugar Hill. They played a great game because this was all about. It's all about family, stickball, and look out for Camacho. Next year they're coming. So anybody need, they need an outfielder. So any of you guys want to come and help them out? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's look out for Camacho. Team Macho, we out here next year. This is going to be one, us one, celebrating. One, so we with Arlene right now. And she's like one of the best cheerleaders out here on the team. One of the ones that come out, support, you know, bring out waters for the guys. How was it going through a season with Ricky and um, be supportive of the guys? Die hard. I'm a die hard warrior. Whoa! Warriors! Whoa! Wow, this is Yang with NY Mindset over here with Sugar Hill. Um, last year, you, you guys won it. Y'all came into this year defending champions. Um, how you feel your season went? I think we did it all right. Could have done a lot better today. Today was a bad day, very bad day. And they just were the better team today. You guys came in today down full zip. Um, they had scored some runs, but you guys had a big inning. Um, you know what was working. What, what was yeah. What was working for y'all? In this game, in this game, you know, you, you got to come into this game knowing, expecting things to happen. You guys pulled within three, and then yeah, you there. guys it was there. gave up ten runs. We were, we were supposed to stick together, get through the next inning, and keep it going. But one play can change a whole game. The stick ball, momentum. So you know anything can happen, man. It was they had the. the it was momentum was riding with them today, but we were there. But that's what I love about this game. Anything can happen at any given moment. Yeah. It's Eric Conyo, NY Mindset. We had the East Harlem Stickball League chip. Got Ricky with a home run hitter today. Rick, how that felt, man? Feels great, you know, when you can help your team win and put up runs. You know, we play, we play hard and we, play, we fucking go home and play harder. That's what's up. At the same time, what's this, your second chip? Not my first chip. Well, this is your first chip? First time. I've been for five years on teams that they want me to play good, want me to sit down and watch. But this year, with the Warriors, they get put me out there, for me to play, and I play. We're going we gonna to make this public on New York Mindset. <laughs> oh, we got an exclusive right? NY Mindset. In a few minutes, you know, almost a year, we're going to have a new Warrior. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey. They're going to be playing soon with us. Hey! It's so, She's 10 weeks, so pretty soon I'm gonna hang on my back and give it to the kid mm -hmm. and just watch the game. You just made this up, like you know man. that, right? Mm -hmm. Congratulations, Thank this is the you. best news ever on top of a chip, man. Thank you. Little nugget. Thank you. <laughs> Exclusive. NY Mindset. Warrior, yeah. Baby Warrior. Baby Warrior. Oh. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're going to do an interview. How you doing? I'm okay. How's everything with you? Yeah. So listen, over here, you, you, you've been coming over here to the to the stickball all season, seeing the championship game. What, what do you think about the game today? Beautiful. Yeah. Hello. Uh oh. Yeah, my choice. I see the tear. Yeah. Okay, because I'm gonna be here. By not that, I'm gonna be here. That's right. She's gonna, gonna be over nice. here. Okay. Are, you, are you a team macho fan now? Yeah. Team well, there you go, Team Macho. Macho, Macho, Camacho. Ah, Team Macho, we in the building. And while my set, we here at East Harlem Stickball Championship with the photographer of the year. So you've been out here taking photos all season. Yes, and I like hiding um, behind the camera. What do, what, do you, what do you think about the last game here? Unbelievable. I mean, what, they had a 10-run streak in the fourth like, inning? That was amazing. What's up, Jazz? I'm on the phone. Alright, so I'm saying, like, you know what I mean? You're gonna get interviewed while you're on the thing. Yo, so, yo, we over here at the East Harlem Stickball Championship with my Mai. You know, we're not gonna tell y'all her real name, but it's my Mai. And um, you came out here, you saw the stickball, but Team Macho wasn't playing. Uh, what do you think about the game today? It was interesting. What was interesting about it? <laughs>
They scored six runs on you guys. Um, they pulled within um, striking distance, as they would that was, say. That was hard. All right, but then you guys turned around and had a 10-run ten, ten inning. Talk to us about that. That was awesome. That was awesome because we know we got the bats, so we had to bring it. You know what I'm saying? When they started creeping up like that, we, I knowing that we got the bats, we just had to put it together, and we did. And while my set East Harlem Stickball Championship, we over here with Frankie, representative of the Clean Machine. So last week, we had asked him how long he been clean. Today we're going to ask him, Frankie, how long you been clean? A little longer today, 12 and a half minutes, I think 13, 13 minutes today. Okay, now you came out here watching the Stickball Championship, uh, what do you think about the game today? Somebody cheated, that's all I know, because they both cheated. It's Eric Conio and Wild Mindset, Team Macho. We're here with TJ, who had the illest two at-bats at the same inning, bringing in what, three RBIs? I believe so. How I felt that you got the home run on the technicality, you got called back to the plate and did it again. How big was that, bro? It was huge because they called timeout while I was already like mid swing. So none of us could have heard the timeout, so we just kept the play going. I wind up scoring thinking it was a home run in the clutch. They and then they, you know, they said it was a timeout. Umpires call timeout, you know, we got to obey the umpires. So I had to redo it again. It was a lot of pressure to do a, hit another home run. We did it again, man, at the plate. What it felt like? It felt huge, man, real huge. To do it in the championship, deciding game, it was big. Yo, MVP. Team Macho, too. Yo, make sure, oh, you got sticky shit in your hands? Oh, no, that's a cut, my Never, 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 never. Let's go. Clean Great hands. season. Yeah.